With only a week left before the 6 item update, let's talk about the 5 heroes you can use to solo carry your games before the big patch next week. We'll cover the heroes, initial build info, tips for laning, and their best and worst matchups. These hero picks mainly focus on the solo queue experience, and while they may not be the best in coordinated play, they should help you dominate your pub matches. So make sure you like this video and are subscribed so you don't miss any coverage on next week's update. Grux is an excellent choice for solo carrying in Predecessor due to his durability, crowd control, and sustained damage. His tankiness and passive healing allow him to survive prolonged engagements, while his abilities like Smash and Grab and Crush provide crucial crowd control to disrupt enemies and deal additional damage. Grux's consistent damage output, efficient wave clear, and strong initiation potential make him a dominant force in both skirmishes and teamfights, while his versatility and ability to secure solo kills and control objectives enable him to lead his team to victory through impactful plays and presence on the map. If you're looking to carry your games on Grux, you should take Icecorn Talons as your crest. Then your first three items should be Basilisk, Sky Splitter, and Bonesaw. These will help you shred through your enemy's defenses while also granting Grux a lot of damage. Grux has a handful of strong and weak matchups in the offlane. He counters Greystone and Severog well by bullying them early, whereas he can struggle against heroes like Shinbi and Steel in lane. To make the most out of Grux, make sure you're focusing on forcing your enemies to fight you head-on as prolonged skirmishes are where Grux shines brightest. Once you force your enemies to back, be sure to press on their tower, steal some jungle camps from the enemy, or look to take Mini Prime to keep your foot on the gas. Another hero that's been on the forefront of players' minds since launch is Crunch. His ability to traverse the map quickly and be a dominant force in teamfights makes him a massive threat to uncoordinated teams. His ability to chain abilities together with his recrunch skill allows for high damage combos and versatile playmaking. Crunch's gap closing abilities such as forward crunch enable him to engage or escape quickly, making him hard to pin down. With left crunch and right crunch providing crown control and damage, he can effectively disrupt enemy formations and secure kills. Once he unlocks Recrunch, it helps him reset his cooldowns, allowing for continuous pressure in fights and exceptional burst damage. Crunch excels at isolating and eliminating key targets, making him a significant threat in both duels and teamfights. His capacity to clear waves efficiently, combined with his strong scaling into the late game, ensures he remains a potent force throughout the match. Overall, Crunch's mobility, high burst potential, and crowd control make him a top choice for players aiming to dominate the battlefield and carry their team to victory. Now there are two different build paths you can go with for Crunch. One is a more bruiser physical power build, which you can see on the left side of the screen, and the other is a recent magical power focus build by Crashy that is very different but powerful. Link to Crashy's video will be in the description below and in the card in the top right if you'd like more details on that one. Crunch excels when he takes fights on his terms. He wants to build up his recrunch and CC enemies or deal massive damage through his chain combos. If you effectively prep your abilities and learn his combos, you will excel with Crunch. Crunch's primary counters are Chimera and Kuang, but he does excel into Grux and Zaris. Now in the support role, there aren't many heroes that can carry a game like Lieutenant Bellica. Bellica is a strategic powerhouse and predecessor, perfect for players looking to carry games with a blend of utility, crowd control, and burst damage. As a mid lane mage, she excels at controlling the battlefield with her versatile abilities. Her seismic assault provides strong crowd control with a knockup effect, disrupting enemy formations and setting up further attacks. Lieutenant Bellica's Void Drone drains enemy mana and punishes ability usage, giving her the edge in prolonged engagements. Her Neural Disruptor deals massive burst damage based on a target's missing mana, making her a potent threat to spell-reliant enemies. Then Void Bomb delivers significant area of effect damage ideal for teamfights and zoning. With her ability to poke and harass enemies from a distance, clear waves efficiently, and control teamfights, Lieutenant Bellica is a critical asset in both offensive and defensive plays. Her combination of crowd control, utility, and burst potential make her an excellent choice for players aiming to dominate their lane and lead their team to victory. When you're trying to carry on Bellica, I'd recommend a damage-focused build with Reclamation as your crest if you're support, or Obelisk as your crest if you're in the mid lane. Then moving into Megacosm, Tainted Scepter, and Caustica as your first three items. Bellica is relatively strong into Phase and Decker, while she is countered by tanky, CC-heavy supports like Richter and Steel. With Bellica, take advantage of the pressure you put on your enemies. Force them to spend a lot of resources in order to keep up with your damage, or kill them when they don't respect your deceptive range and power. Argus has some insane potential to take over games from the mid lane, and he's perfect for players that just want to ramp up their damage to the moon and then some. He's got a lot of utility in his kit, while his passive Disintegrate and Particle Shredder give him plenty of room to out-damage his opponents as well. Argus's advanced difficulty level requires skillful play to harness his full potential. His combination of crowd control, area damage, and burst potential make him a formidable mid lane presence. 
Use Dread Nova to stun enemies at range, providing plenty of opportunity to follow up with Aether Crystal or Particle Shredder. You can also use Aether Crystal to knock yourself or allies into the air for unique traversal to different areas around the map. Once Particle Shredder reaches max level, you should be weaving it in with your other abilities to maximize the amount of damage you can do. Argus can also effectively roam and pick up stray kills using Synaptic Obliterator to pick them off at long range. When building Argus, make sure you take Soul Bearer as your crest, with Combustion, Megacosm, and Caustica as your first three items. Argus does exceptionally well against the more short-range casters of the mid lane in Countess and Gideon, but will struggle when his enemies can keep him at range like Howitzer and Wraith. Twin Blast is a dynamic marksman and predecessor, ideal for players who want to carry games with high mobility and sustained damage. Known for his rapid-fire abilities and agility, Twin Blast excels at dealing consistent damage while maneuvering around the battlefield. His passive allows him to unleash a barrage of bullets, shredding through enemies quickly. With Rocket Dash, Twin Blast can reposition easily, dodging enemy attacks or closing the gap to secure kills. His grenade provides area damage and a slow effect, adding crowd control to his arsenal. His ultimate, Ventilate, significantly boosts his attack speed, enabling him to unleash a torrent of damage in a short period. Overall, Twin Blast's blend of mobility, sustained damage, and crowd control make him an excellent choice for players looking to dominate the duel lane and lead their team to victory. Twin Blast is pretty strong into most matchups, but really excels into Sparrow and Drongo, while struggling a little against Wraith and Revenant. For your items, make sure you take Ortis as your crest so you can build up those stacks. Then follow with Mind Razor, Infernum, and Demolisher as your first three items. Twin Blast's proficiency in kiting and high burst potential make him a formidable presence in both laning and teamfights. With his ability to poke from a distance, clear waves efficiently, and rapidly eliminate targets, making him a critical asset in carrying every game. Remember, next week is going to be a large update to Predecessor, with a new game mode, new items, and I'm sure a bunch of balance changes. So be sure to check back for more information and updates, and I'll see you in the next one.